Hello, my name is Jacob. I have the Entendre project, and today I'm going to show you the Keith McMullen Q Nexus instrument. It's a really powerful MIDI controller, has a lot of features and capabilities. It's also very durable. They have a video online where they run over it with a car, throw it out of a building, do all kinds of crazy things to it, and it still works great. They plug it in and it's fine. So without further ado, I'm going to go over some of the basic factory presets that it comes with and the functionality. So check it out. If you press preset and you go to toggle A, that's the first preset and it's the most basic. A lot of the modulation functionality is disabled in this preset. So right now I have a bass sound on it. just a basic sound. It is velocity sensitive. Now one cool thing about this setting is if I load up another sound like a pad and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and disable the bass sound. So now if I hold down the toggle button for a second it'll light up and now I can toggle notes on and off. So that's a fun feature. So now I'm going to go to preset B. Just press preset and hit B. And I'm going to turn that bass sound back on. Give me just a sec. Okay, so in this setting, the pressure sensitivity is sending out MIDI CC1, which by default will affect most synths and VSTs mod wheel. So in Serum, I routed the bass frequency, the cutoff frequency, to the mod wheel. So I get this result. You can change octaves here. And if I tilt the key forward and back, it's going to change the pitch. So there's a lot of power there. Now I'm going to go to the third preset, preset C. You'll see that it's kind of like preset B in that it's pressure and tilt responsive. <laughs> I think I customized the pitch to extend the range to 12 semitones in this one. You can do a lot of stuff in the editor with this, it's great. Another cool thing about preset C is that channel rotation is enabled. And you can enable it in the other settings too if you hold down preset and then you click on channel. Oh wait. No, you hold down preset and you'll see that rotates enabled there. I could turn it off or on and then there you go. But in preset C, it's on by default. And what that allows you to do is if I hold down a note and I press another note, it'll, um, it'll trigger the next MIDI channel up and so on as I keep holding notes. So I have three different sounds and three different serum channels, and they all are receiving MIDI from a different MIDI channel. So here's what happens. A cool thing about it is you can bend the pitch of each note individually. So 
So there's a lot of potential there. Now I'm going to go to the fourth preset, which is designed for drums. I've got a impulse in Ableton set up. So this one will send MIDI on track or uh, channel 9 and 10, I believe. So here we go. Yeah, so that's a pretty fun one as well. Now, one last thing I'm going to show before I end the video is if I go back to preset A, I've created a track in Ableton with an arpeggiator on it and an external instrument. Let me just pull that over here so you can see it. So it's just sending, it's got a single MIDI note in the clip and it's running through this arpeggiator and then it's sending MIDI data into the Keith McMullen QNexus and you'll see what that does when I launch the clip. Ready? All the lights start firing off. So that's a great novelty thing and you could program it to go along as kind of a visual reference for your music or just use it as a fun gimmick. Up to you. There's all kinds of possibilities with this. So yeah, it's really a powerful device. I really like it a lot. Very portable, small, thin and light and durable. Great for travel. And yeah, there's a link to purchase on Amazon in the description. It's an associate link, so I'll get a little bit of a commission if you buy it through that. And it would help support my channel and blog. And yeah, check out my music, soundcloud.com slash entendre, my website, entendre.com, and be sure to subscribe and like this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. And until next time, I'm Entendre. Have a great day.